Well, this is a bit of a tricky entrance to sail a cruising boat out of with the prevailing trade winds and associated swell. So a looming departure has got me on the pre-attack recon here. So what I want to see here is how much how much room I have on either side of the buoy. See this red right here. So mid-channel we got about 18 feet of water. So and uh, we seem to have pretty good water pretty much all the way up to the shore. So that's good. Uh, we would be close haul right here. So we still got 17 feet. Okay, 15. So we got good water almost all the way up to the surf line. Let's see how far we are here. Fourteen feet. So pretty much up to the surf line. We got good water, so that's good. Um, our, our real enemy here, well, the fact that with an east wind we're going to be close haul. We may have to tack. Um, and our biggest enemy here is this swell. And this swell is going down. Tomorrow it's about six feet down. It's supposed to go down to about four feet tomorrow. Um, let's see it break in there. And uh, that's what. Uh, that's what could spell trouble for us. Because we get right in here, these winds are kind of light and pickled. So to here we'd be getting a gust almost beam on. Um, but these winds get light and pickle in here. And we get into these swells and they can just stop us dead. And uh, we can lose steerage weight. So that, that's our big that, that's our big enemy. Um, so hopefully it'll be flatter tomorrow. Because uh, tomorrow's a possible weather window to go. So, so but it's kind of the catch-22 because we got good water all the way up to the shore. But the problem is the wind is going to go fickle on us there. Uh, but then as we come over here, we get better wind, but we got this reef right under our lee. So it's, it's sort of the skill in Corinthians here. Boy, it's just absolutely pouring. Did my laundry this morning, but uh, didn't anticipate so much rain. So I don't know when any of that's gonna dry off. And my little jury rig water catcher here. Oh, this is full. All right, so we'll empty that into the tank. Free fresh water, we'll take it. You have to pay for water in these parts, by the way. Well, it looks like we got a weather window to go today from Luperon to Miami, Florida. And I'm gonna take advantage of a calm to move the boat out into a little wider, more open water, especially to avoid that narrow channel that leads into the anchorage. Uh, with the easterly winds, I would have to tack out through there, and it's a bit narrow to do that. But before we go anywhere, we have to go through the whole customs and immigration rigmarole again, uh, which involved going ashore clearing with the Port Authority, clearing out with immigration, and then finally you have to go to the Commandant, and they have to come out to your boat with the drug enforcement guy and uh, inspect your boat and sign a bunch more papers until you are finally free to leave. Getting into final preparations here. <laughs> Grinding up the fresh coffee. I'll beware of the Ides of March. For they have come, but they have not yet gone. So far, so good. Got my coffee here. It's about 11.30 in the morning local time in Luperon. And... I think we're going to get underway just about uh, when I told the customs people, uh, right around noon. So as usual, that was quite the adventure. I mean, it was just uh, clearing in, clearing out, is filling out a ton of papers. But at least clearing out, you didn't have to pay anything. Um, but you had to have them come back aboard, and you had to have the, uh, the drug uh, enforcement guy inspect your boat. So you get, you get your boat turned upside down 
And uh, so anyway, um, they were all very polite about it, but still, uh, it should be nice if they could kind of streamline their process a bit. Um, so, our situation is looking pretty good. So you can see there's not much swell today. That went down as forecast. That's pretty flat. And uh, these winds are still east. So it'll be fluky, but we should have pretty much just a beam reach out of here. Um, so, uh, so that looks good. I'm going to rig the scaling or nonetheless, just in case. Just in case we get into some fluky stuff here and need, need a little extra help. But, uh, so there's the harbor loop around. And, uh, it's truly a beautiful place. I mean, you just look at the mountain. So much of it is unspoiled. So much of the Dominican Republic is unspoiled. Look at this cove. You can go up there and anchor. Um, so, uh, so we tear ourselves away. And uh, time to be rambling on. Well, this is going to be tricky from the outset. As you can see, the winds are still very fluky in here. Blowing the mainsail back and forth. But we get some semi-steady wind and way anchor. And then I'm immediately going to get the stay slot so we, we try to power her up as fast as possible and get her moving and get, get, uh, get steerage way on her. Get that rudder to bite so we have control. And I did scrub the bottom the other day and indeed there was a fair bit of hard growth forming uh, in that inner harbor which is notorious for growth. But as you can see, she doesn't have much wind, but she's accelerating. And uh, just in the light puffs, she's spun on her heel and, and gathering way. So that's all good. Winds are light, but the water is still fairly flat. And just starting to feel a little bit of swell. You can see she's pitching there, but we're still making good speed. And uh, right off to starboard, there's the first red. And of course, as we predicted, the wind is coming forward, so I'm having to fall away and uh, edge closer to that reef, which has got me nervous. Now, we're too close to that reef, so I'm going to put her through attack. One. And she obediently just comes right around, despite the fact that she's contending with some swell and very light and fickle winds. And the staysail sheet got caught on the derate vent there. Just clear that. Despite it all, she's, she picks up some speed and she's moving right along so we should be able to get her back onto the other tack without too much trouble and here we go helma lee and she's coming around nicely well she may be a laden long keel cruising boat but I reckon she went through those tacks like a club racer on Wednesday night around the Yacht Club buoys. Speaking of which there's the last buoy the green after this the channel widens and we're picking up wind and I think we're on our way. I love it when a plan comes together.
so we are Tuesday, the 16th of March, 2021. We're just running down the trades here. And uh, to Whitford of us is the Turks and Caicos. And uh, that's one reason we have fairly flat water here. Uh, we should have bigger swells for this wind condition. And I don't know if you can see it, I'll kind of pan the camera. But if you look right about now, you see those clouds kind of have a greenish aquamarine tinge? Let's see if I go forward, they kind of change color. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it to the camera. But uh, what that is, most likely, is uh, to windward of us is all that shallow water around the Turks and Caicos, which is colored, uh, which will be a much lighter aquamarine color. And so you're seeing that, you're seeing that reflected on the bottom side of the clouds. And um, in the South Pacific, that's one way you can spot the, uh, remember the, the atolls. Yes, that's the one I was looking for. Uh, which uh, atolls are uh, the island. All that's left of the island is just a fringing reef. And then there's a lagoon in the center. And usually the lagoon is shallow. And so one of the way you can, one of the things you could, ways you can spot an atoll far away is if there's any clouds, you see the greenish tinge on the underside of the cloud. And uh, that's, that's from the, uh, the light reflected off the shallow lagoon. Uh, so I believe that's what we're seeing right now. Looks like the wind forecast uh, for the next about three or four days is good. It's generally, gradually veering winds becoming more southerly. Uh, so it's going to go east, east, south, east, south, east, then finally come around to the south. Uh, last I looked, that's going to happen by Friday. Today's Tuesday. So, and then I'm not sure what's going to happen. Uh, we might have to find a place to, uh, to anchor in the Bahamas, not clear in, just shelter somewhere. Because uh, it looks like possibly a cold front's going to go through. We're going to get some pretty strong noidalies. So anyway, we'll uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. So we're on somewhat of a winding country road through the Bahama Islands here, being careful not to run up on any reefs, like that at the end of Salmona Key. You can see this reef goes out quite a ways from the end of this island, from Salmona Key. So this, this is a corner you absolutely do not want to cut. Now finally, we got the end of these breakers. Self-steering, it's puffy, it's gusty. Self-steering wandering. But uh, finally we got these breakers a beam. So we can just come on to our course, our northwesterly heading. Uh, towards San Salvador and then uh, to the Providence Channel.